Welcome, everybody. In this session, we are going to make some fire. And how are we going to make fire? Well, that's what we are going to talk about. How do you make fire? In the past, people used to make fire using wood. I'm not sure if you're still doing that. It's actually a nice craft. It's a real craft, but it's very time consuming and probably not the most efficient way to do it. And that's actually also how we look at software development. And how, that's also how OutSystems looks at software developer development, development. It's a craft, but we try to be as efficient as possible. So what are the challenges? What are the challenges that companies run into and that we try to solve? Well, first of all, applications are getting more and more complex. That means it's harder to build IT and developers, maybe like yourself, uh, they have much more challenges. There's so many technologies. You need to do backend, you need to do integration, you need to do frontend, and you need specialists for all of these parts of software development. And it's actually very hard for companies to find the people with the right skills. So I'm pretty sure everybody in this, in this area knows, well, you're probably very, you're very wanted, for sure, but your company may have struggles to find enough people with the right skills. And next to that, also the business is expecting more, so you need to deliver more, faster, etc., etc. It's a challenge, our system thought, let's do it smarter. How do we do it smarter? We try to make it simpler. We try to cut the complexity on the aspects that are not so interesting, in the sense that we try to automate most of the repetitive work. Also, um, we try to make it easier to reschool people, the people that you already have. Or also, so we mainly focus on people with a development background, but if you're now a background developer, without systems, you could easily learn the front end because it's all visual, or the other way around. So you do not need all those specific specialisms because OutSystems is a full-stack development platform, and most of the, develop of the developers actually work as full-stack developers. And with that way, you can become much more productive. And um, what we really see is that the dynamics change, where now often the business is asking people, uh, IT, they're asking, can you be faster? We need more and more. Our customers, actually, they go to the business and say, okay, we delivered. You need to give feedback, give more. So you really have a different dynamic and it gives developers actually the possibility to, you know, stop working at five o'clock instead of always making these extra hours to get everything done. So what kind of IT do we see? What kind of custom development do we see within organizations? We have a bit of an overview to it. There is some low code development that's mostly focused on business processes. Then there's a lot of packages that give you some customization options, like a Salesforce, like a CRM or an ERP system. So that is possible, um, but it always stays within that package. Then you have some no-code, which is more focused at, let's say, the business developers, so the business people that don't want to wait for IT because maybe their project is not important enough, they want to do it themselves. You got some low-code that goes a bit further than that. You can actually do some more serious systems and still, most of the development is done in traditional coding. So there's really big teams for that. So where do we position out systems? We actually position out systems on top of all of that. So sometimes we call out systems the highest of the low code platforms, meaning that you can actually handle those complexities, that you can build more complex uh, applications because you have a lot of technical freedom still and a lot of technical decisions you should make. Um, of course, with great freedom comes a great responsibility, and therefore it's important that the people who use it actually know about how to develop applications. And that's why we usually position ourselves um, for professional software developers. So in order to actually make those claims true, we need to, of course, be able to um, support serious IT. And in order to do that, we have some main capabilities. So for front-end development, you can really make it pixel perfect. We have a UI framework that's very uh, efficient, that works very nice, it looks very nice. But if you want it a bit different, you can always add your own JavaScript, modify your own CSS there. Integrations is a very important part of the platform as well. So we have a lot of connectors that you can use, database connectors, but also to existing systems. And it's very easy to consume APIs or to expose APIs. If you're interested, we can show you. We actually have a booth there. Deepak and I can build an API in two minutes. And if you've seen it, that you can do it yourself as well. 
And then with OutSystem, you can also build this real core backend system. So there are companies that use it for the ERP, that lose it for the CRM, that really use it for their core management systems. What do customers typically build without systems? Um, it, basically anything that is a web architecture can be built without systems. Or, uh, but we see we can categorize it in three main areas. So the first is the customer apps. So that could be a banking application or a declaration application of your healthcare insurance. In Belgium, we have some examples of that. We really can handle millions of users. Um, it could be internal processes, maybe onboarding but also core systems that I mentioned. So really those, for example, uh, VOPAC as a terminal management system, We really the core systems of a company, uh, also planning system, operation systems, all of that can be done without systems. So what is it actually? Let's have a look at the platform. So it's full stack development. You can do both the back end and the front end. However, you can also choose to use out systems for where you're lacking something. So you can choose to, for example, build a front end on an existing deck back end or build just the data layer with APIs and then teams can consume those REST APIs as desired. You see here on the left, that's what I'm talking about, but then you'll see the, the, the moving picture that is the actual IDE. So you get a bit of a glimpse of what the IDE looks like if you would be working without systems. In order to actually, of course, it, uh, have that different back end and uh, front end, you need to have integration possibilities. So integration is also a key part of the platform. So it's very simple to consume and expose APIs. We have a lot of connectors in our open source library. Um, you can also make your own connector. We have, you can connect directly on database level if you would want that. And you can always fall back on traditional coding if needed. So if you want to integrate with some a uh, legacy system that may not support modern integration technologies. You can actually build your own extension. You can publish that, and then you can make it. Uh, you can use that. Always first look at. Please first look at the Forge, which is which is our open source library, because there many people have done this before you, of course. So you don't want to repeat that work. We are mainly known as a development platform, but we actually manage the whole application lifecycle. So also the monitoring is done from the platform. Deployment is automated. We automate for you uh, validations to see, to do dependency checks, but also to see if you're following uh, the development and the architectural practices so that we can really focus on applications with a good architecture that you can use for the long run. This is in our platform. However, you can also integrate this uh, with the Jenkins or uh, or an Azure DevOps, for example, so that uh, you can make it part of your existing pipelines. What can you build? Well, you can build mobile applications, uh, web applications. You can publish those mobile applications either to the shops or also as PWAs. But you can also make automated flows that, for example, send SMS, send uh, emails, uh, etc. Also chatbots, you can do them. And all of this comes together in a platform that we call enterprise grade. And that is because we can really handle that big scale. So under the hood, we just generate standard.net code. And that means we're not limited by anything compared to traditional coding. Also, there's no runtime interpreter. You just have those existing applications. The code that's uh, running is optimized for security and performance. So we already take care of a number of things there. And you can actually choose if you take it in our as a SaaS product that we manage it for you, or you want to manage it yourself or in your own cloud. Uh, of course, if we manage it for, for you, we also have some security things already taken care of in the cloud center. Now I have a short video that will give you a bit of an impression what it is to develop in out systems. So I will start that video. OutSystems is the number one platform to deliver mobile apps, portals and web applications, voice and chatbot powered virtual assistants, even core business systems. Without systems, you can create and manage large application portfolios that integrate existing systems and reach millions of users. Applications are built and changed in a visual environment where you can define your application's workflow processes, user interfaces for both web and mobile devices, including offline functionality, and access to device sensors, business logic, and data models. All development is done in a powerful yet easy to learn drag and drop development environment that you can even extend with your own custom code. The platform offers AI assisted development to speed up app creation. It's like having a smart and friendly expert helping you. It also makes it really easy to integrate with any system such as legacy platforms, large enterprise packages, public or private web services and enterprise integration platforms. 
When you're done, one click is all you need to deploy your apps. And for mobile apps, you can create the package to submit to app stores with just one click or deploy them as progressive web apps. Once your apps are live, testers and end users provide feedback right in the app. All your applications are generated for standard open development stacks. They can run in the OutSystems cloud or any public or private cloud or on-premises. They are fully portable, so you'll never be locked into a proprietary cloud environment or a single provider. When deploying your applications across environments, OutSystems runs a complete impact analysis to validate all application dependencies and ensure a robust and risk-free staging process. When everything is ready, the platform automates the DevOps process for you, making it easy and fast to roll applications into production while giving you complete visibility and control over the entire process. Real-time performance monitoring is built in for all your applications. You'll be able to see exactly how each application is performing and ensure your apps are providing an amazing user experience. Whatever type of application you build, without systems, you have everything you need to rapidly and easily deliver your next great business application with no limits. So that should have given you a bit of an idea what the platform can do and what it looks like. So now comes the most important part. So now I want you to go, hopefully be motivated enough to take some action. So if you're interested, well, I think, well, of course I'm uh, very uh, colored in this decision, but maybe if you think it could be interesting for you, you can think, okay, maybe I want to try a new technology. Maybe we need some more productivity in certain areas. Maybe we're working with some old technology. Um, do we have a certain challenge? Maybe out systems can help. If you are interested, um, well, I hope you are. First of all, I want to mention you're not alone. So we have a big community worldwide, a global community of over 600,000 people are part of that community. We have a very active forum. So if you're going to start without system, you can actually ask your questions. It will answer. Uh, there's some programs. All of the training material is freely available online. So you can just start and have a look. Um, there is a real certification path. Of, I think we currently have almost like 15 certifications with different specialism, so you can really build a career then and show your skills. Um, and we, are the, we have an annual development conference. This one is either, in, this year it's either in Denver or in Lisbon, so that, I think that's also a nice uh, trip to go to. And there's also a lot of local user groups, even uh, also in, uh, in Belgium, I think uh, it's quite active, so it's, they meet up quite often, so you can also learn or make some friends, whatever you prefer there. Um, so, we have a free version. If you go to try.outsystems.com or do this QR code, you can actually download your own free version and you can play around with it. It's free forever. You cannot use it for serious enterprise applications, but you can do every development wise, you can try out everything. Um, as long as you log in once every twice, two weeks, we will never clean it up. If you forget that, we may clean it up sometime. So I would certainly encourage you to do that and then check out the online training material. There's really a lot of training material available. And if you're really interested, uh, I think this is a nice opportunity. We actually have an OutSystems developer school coming up. So it's from June 19 to 30, uh, June 30th. It's every evening from 5.30 to 9 p.m. And then we'll actually give you all the basics to become an OutSystems developer. So after these two weeks, you should be knowledgeable enough to actually get the basic certifications, and then you could actually go into the market as an OutSystem developer. We can help you to find a suitable employer if you're that interested. Uh, also, actually, uh, this event is organized by ACA. They're an OutSystems partner, but companies like them, um, oh, I'm not sure if they have vacancies, but for sure they'll be interested to talk with you about it as well, and they can also tell you more about the product. We can also, we have a booth, so please come by. If you're online, feel free to reach out to me uh, over LinkedIn or uh, whatever you prefer. Um, and I think that those were my 15 minutes. So thank you everybody for your attention and please come visit our booth.